So the goal is on this wall to have one, two, three, four, five, six floating bookshelves to handle not only that fiction stuff, but hopefully get the books out of these cabinets. But all of my red books are going to stay in this beautiful case because it's beautiful and I said so. Hey guys, it's Editing Kim here, and I realize I never actually gave you guys a proper introduction on what this chaotic vlog is all about. So this started off with Dan and I just realizing I needed more bookshelves in my life. That's partially why. It's the benefit of buying a house, okay? You design a house the way you want it. And I really needed some more bookshelves, and I just felt like the house wasn't being very efficient for what I was doing between working full time, my small business, and reading books for this channel, and also just enjoying books in general. So we had this big entry wall on the bottom, on the ground floor, and I've wanted to have bookshelves put into it industrial with like an industrial look. I really, really, really love industrial hard, hardwoods, dark colors. Um, so I got really motivated and bought a couple of bookshelves. As you'll see throughout the vlog, what started as six only ended up being two because we are not really home improvement experts. Well, there's the first bookshelf of the night. I don't know if that framed magazine's gonna stay there, but I think we could actually do three across and three below it. And if that is already, focus, if that's already one shelf, I definitely think I'll be able to fit everything else. So more tomorrow. So as you guys can tell, the ladder bookshelf is still here but we did manage to get up one of these pipe bookshelves over there on the left the stud finder seems to indicate that as you move to the right there's a lot of electrical wiring which makes sense because there's a light switch that nobody uses but still it's there so our goal for dan and i today is to actually put another bookshelf vertical like right underneath this first bookshelf and that'll still help me get some of the books off of the ladder and also out of other places scattered around the house. Basically, I have two areas of books that I really would like to get onto a bookshelf. And the first is, right now this is my pile of books for the little free library and it just kind of sits here. And I'd rather get them off the ground and also use this space because this is where I like to store my tripod for when I'm not filming. And then, Behind here are all of those arcs that I talked about or books that from publishers that or I want in giveaways that I mentioned to you guys on my summer wrap uh, summer book haul video. So these are going to stay here, these wrapped books, but I really want everything like without a cover to come back out without wrapping paper, not without a cover to come back out here. Those are all the books I bought from that book haul that are still in there. And I'd like to, if I can, move any of those books out of the wrapped box container 
shelf and put them down on this top bottom shelf and top shelf. So they're all in one place. Um, and part of the reason I keep doing this is this is kind of my blind date with a book workstation. Like those are the secret snacks that are made from actually a mother and son business duo and the books and like that's the butcher paper that wraps them and like it's it's a small space and I don't quite know what to use it for other than to store things but I'm hoping that maybe I should put the bookshelf with the wrapped books in there and swing this table out here um because I just feel like I'm not utilizing this space the right way I don't know, leave a comment below if you have any ideas on what I can do with that space over there. So Dan had today off and actually put up a second bookshelf, just like I thought, or just like I suggested in the last clip. And I think it really worked. So now the top two shelves are autographed books, series, like the edible series is up here, but I got from Rakuten Books and their other food and agents is behind this picture. It's actually not a picture, it's a magazine cover. That's my article on the cover. Autographed books, the Oishi NBO series, other books left from publishers to read, and then the bottom, I was able to move some of my little free library books off the floor. Obviously, as you can see, I still have a box for overflow, but it feels a little bit nicer to just have more space. And obviously, the top books are oversized books, these are fiction books I have read already. And then going down, these are all the fiction books I still have to read. Look at how many I now own, guys. Then there are some other miscellaneous books I haven't read, and that's just also a placeholder to keep things from falling. So yeah, it also freed up this electrical outlet that was being hidden by other things, so that's nice. So really, I have a reading nook-ish area now in the front of the house, because if you turn around, that's the front door we never use. Where I'm sitting now is a bench that um, sits right in front of my bookcase. You guys all recognize this bookcase. And I still have a great deal of space down there to put more books on. So let me, sorry, it's gonna be a little shaky. See, so now I have this cute little um, bench here that I can like film and sit sit on excuse me while I film so that my shelves are my background again and I don't know it's a nice bookish little area I think I need something like here maybe I'll just move this over here when I'm not filming to help the space but yeah this has been a fun little project we're gonna have to return we actually bought a third bookshelf but like I mentioned for some reason or not for some reason it makes a lot of sense there's electrical currents over on this side, so I wasn't, what I had wanted to do was frame this sh this ladder between bookshelves on both sides. Can't do that because of the electricity. I mean, maybe a real person who was better at home improvements would know how, but I don't, so I'm just gonna leave it as is, but yeah. Editing Kim here again, because I realized I didn't give you any context on the second part of this vlog. So I have been struggling with, um, proper organization and use of my office. So I did launch a new product series for Read It and Eat, and it's called Blind Date with a Book. And Blind Date with a Book is just like it sounds. You have three different genres to pick from, romance, young adult, or contemporary fiction. And I will send you a foodie book in those genres with a snack that still supports a small business. And there's still a donation component to a food nonprofit to help fight hunger and food scarcity. So I just wanted to break bring this new tier or new set of products to you guys because my Read It and Eat subscription boxes normally retail at $50. These Read It and Eat blind dates retail at $20 and I think they would make great gifts for a special someone, especially with the holidays coming up. But with all this new, with these new products comes new inventory, new wrapping and all of this stuff. And I was just feeling really overwhelmed in my office. So I wanted to take a shot and also use this opportunity not only to reorganize my bookshelves, but to reorganize my office. I'm still not, I'm still not entirely thrilled with how it looks. So I would love your opinions and the thoughts below in the comments if there's any other organizational tools you guys really recommend. But now I think I've added a little bit of organization or at least information so you guys know what on earth you're watching in this vlog. Thanks guys. And now, as you can see, I've cleaned off the top shelf here. That was all ARCs from publishers. 
So I have this and this bottom shelf, and I'm thinking what I'm going to do is um, now take that box off, put it in the bottom of my other cabinet, and then see if I can get all of my wrapped unread books on this shelf, and we will see. So I did manage to get all of the books on the shelf. I know it's ridiculously full. And now I have this whole cabinet free, and I'm going to try and find more of like the tchotchke things around the house that I haven't known where to put and put them over there. Um, I still don't know what to do with that space back there. So this vlog, this vlog or whatever we're calling it, this DIY project, it's not officially over yet because I'm not satisfied yet, but I'm going to keep at it and I will get back to you guys and we'll see what happens next. Okay, so here's the new space. So let's back up so you guys can kind of see the framing. So we would come into the office. Boop, 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 boop. We have my work table behind it here. Let me take you guys off the tripod actually. So behind that working table and general space for orders, like there's orders in that bag. That's my wrapping station. A lot of the marketing materials are on that little cart. The snacks and excess, not excess, backup stock, because I always like to have, to have extra stock of everything. I moved all the wrap books back there and extra boxes that I have for sale. I still have maple boxes available. And there's still a little bit of extra room back there. I don't know what I'm gonna put, but these are all the blind date books. Um, a lot of the excess inventory for, let's say like the winter box is down in the basement, but yeah. Also treadmill, actual work desk, printer. See if that treadmill actually still works from that plump self, but yeah. Uh, this is what I did today during my lunch break. So that is my bookish update for my house. Two new shelves, some reorganization out here. All of my books I bought this year from the summer haul are in here still. They don't look that pretty. And this cabinet now has just a lot of like knickknack things in it. So let's open this up. So... I have a giant whale bookend that doesn't fit on any of my bookshelves, but I love him. My beef hat from Meat Feast. Um, my Roadrunner card. Just extra thank you cards and stuff that I send to family on the holidays. But it is right above some of my favorite display books. I have the Food Lab. I have Julia Rothsman's collection. And I also have the Bouchon Thomas Keller collection. So yeah, that's all I've got. And I guess I'll end the blog, vlog here. So that is my, this is where I work space updated 2.0. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are not completely amazed by how many books I have in this house. Um, that's it for now. I'll see how long this is when I put it all together. This actually took the span of a week to get everything updated. Um, and if you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.